Hello everybody, my name is Martitinis and welcome to this kind of different video. No face cam this time and it's a tutorial. Yes, you hear me, it's a tutorial on how to record a video's gameplay with an Elgato. As you can see, I use an Elgato um, and I'm using it to record this screen, my, my desktop right now at the moment. So how do I do it? First of all, I am a very organized person, so I have my YouTube map over here which every single day of the week and this video is recorded to the Saturday file as you can see here it's empty other than this library document it's recorded there you can set that up at the wrench thing right here record location of the library location of the export you have to set that to the location you want to for me that's the YouTube file Saturday. I have switched off the preview otherwise you get this kind of shit. You have a screen in a screen in a screen in a screen. But when I start recording I always have this one on so I can check if the recording is doing fine. Which it is doing. Um, yeah other than that we have the game capture itself. It's a game capture HD. We have the settings for that. It's set on PC so I've so I can record my PC screen, uh, HDMI audio, one, uh, 720p. You can switch those things if you want to. It's like uh, brightness, contrast, color, etc, etc. But I prefer to do that in my editing program. Uh, you can do some audio tweaking as well, your profile, which I don't do myself. And the only thing I switch between is this one, which I can switch between PC, Wii U, PlayStation 3, you can switch between all the capture abilities like Elgato has. Then down below you have live streaming. Here, here you can add your profile. This is Marty Hahn on Twitch. That's my Twitch account. You can add a new one by selecting YouTube or any other live streaming um, websites. You can add a new profile and switch easily between them. This is the m amount of um, megabytes per second that you are gonna stream on uh, depends on your internet speed and your speed of your computer on how fast this thing can go this is the title which you can edit as well with um, the resolutions and frames per seconds etc categories etc etc then down here we have the game sound this is how loud your game will uh, be recorded. I don't have it all the way at 100 because if you do that uh, the sound will go in the red which means it's gonna clip um, which results in uh, clicking sounds which you can't edit out. It is recorded that way it is broken. Um, so I record it at most of the time at 50 at half uh, the sound which leaves me plenty of space to um, up the volume in my editing program and tweak the sound in that editing program. Then down below you have your live commentary. Here you can set your own uh, microphone. You have the internal microphone which is just of my laptop itself and my microphone is an LD system which I'm using right now. I chose I choose for it not to use this because I can't edit the game sound and my commentary apart. I can't edit them separately if you use it. So I record my voice with Audacity which is down here. Hello, this is my voice recorded right now. Um, it's a bit of a detour but you have more abilities uh, to edit your game sound separately from your voice which is very handy for me. Uh, but if you want to you can check it on like here, you can put this sign on and it will start recording your voice with this amount of uh, volume to it. You can see your own voice being recorded like so, hello. I'm not doing that too much otherwise I have a double voice in this. Um, you have a wrench here, you can edit some um, noise gates etc etc. Then down below here you have the Elgato sound capture. Um, I don't use it, but it's very handy if you want to uh, record uh, music while you're playing a game or if you have a team chat open uh, or Skype for instance and you want to uh, record your friends uh, voices as well, you can use this lovely thing which is the Elgato sound capture. 
team chat music computer gameplay and advanced mode I prefer to leave it off so, um, so I don't have too many troubles with that but it's working fine there's no problems with it I don't prefer it that's all all the way down below you have labels where you can give your game uh, a title uh, you can put in which game you are playing so it's getting organized very nicely and you can put in a description and labels I don't use it because I I pretty much do that myself with these folders so they're coming in all nicely like this gameplay game footage and that's all I need to know that that is my game footage for instance and yeah that's basically everything you need to know about Elgato it has more uh, yeah, it has more you can share uh, your gaming footage directly with YouTube Facebook etc etc I don't do that because that's stupid uh, updates on um, quick keys like start recording is for me it's if I press F9 it starts recording and it stops recording and if I want to make a screenshot of the game I'm playing I press F12 which is there and then you have some advanced Intel graphics encoders and shit. Then right here, um, well this means you're recording. It's turning around, it's recording for me right now. Like I said, this is the amount of time um, I have been recording this video. This is the amount of gigabytes you have free on your disk to record stuff. Um, this is the uh, preview of the screen. Down below is the sound of the game. Uh, for this to work you have to put on the preview of the screen otherwise you don't hear anything and then this button here stream if you press that you'll start streaming in this case I'll start streaming on Twitch which I was not uh, and this is the button for your commentary and yeah that's basically everything you need to know about Elgato it's a very simple um, way of recording gameplay and it is working very very nicely i hope you find this tutorial helpful if i missed something or i didn't go over something please let me know in the comments below and i will see if i know something about that and i will tell you anyway i hope you guys like this video if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button and if you want to join our community join the marty party then smash hit or click that subscribe button it's appreciated a lot and yeah Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see all of you guys in the next video. See ya. Bye. So now we have Speed Cola. And that's very helpful with reloading and stuff because that triples your speed like that. It's fucking crazy.